Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to show you another uh, new tech industrial sewing machine, the same as 20U83 that we just did uh, last video, but this is 20U93, uh, it's a GC right here, 20U93, uh, it's a great, great machine and I'll tell you what is the difference. It's uh, um, this machine is the same, same exact as the last sewing machine that you saw, but this one has a direct drive right here. Jasmine, close up right here, please. This is the whole sewing machine motor. There is no motor underneath. This is the whole um, motor right here to the side. And it's servo and it's direct. The motor is right here and it's got a small tiny control panel here which the other one didn't have. The other one had a servo motor underneath, and this one had the automatic bobbin winder right here. That's the only difference between this machine and the last one. And this is how everything's gonna look. Beautiful, I started before I did this video. I started the um, uh, sewing, and it's great. But I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna go over this. Now, one of the things that you might saw on the last video that I did not explain is, uh, sometimes on this sewing machine, when you change the stitching, like from wide to a, a tiny or wide to a tiny back and forth, you might feel that it's uh, skipping stitch. It's not skipping, it's just changing from another width to a different width or height. So, same thing here. This one, this sewing machine comes with table, legs, no motor underneath. The motor is right here. It comes with LED lamp. I'm, are we on? Are we on? Off? Let me just go ahead and put in the lamp in there, plug it in, the Gold Star Tool LED lamp. A very, very popular uh, lamp. Magnetic, you could plug it in, and um, it's beautiful. Da. Okay, good, very nice. So as you see, it's magnetic, and here we go. Now, this sewing machine also has a, a switch back here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Bam, down, on, and you got a small uh, digit right here and you keep it right here. You see these two buttons? This needle positioning system, meaning that if you press this one, the needle will stay down when you're sewing, and if you do this one and do this one, the needle stays up all the time, needle positioning. A lot of people that do, uh, uh, hard to sew stuff would like to have a needle positioning. Okay, a piece of cotton right here. And down, and by the way, this machine also has a reverse right here, needle stitching guide side right here, uh, zigzag guide stitching right here, and this one is left, right, or center. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna put this in the center and we're gonna sew. Uh, and like always, as soon as you put it in, it the needle has to come out. And the reason is because it's stuck somewhere around here. Yes. See, whoever did this uh, threading didn't do it right because you don't have to do it through these two. This one is for the uh, bobbin winder, and this one is for the sewing machine. And so with that, but so they somehow did it through two um, uh, thread. We don't need to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it the same way it is. Still it's gonna work, but you don't need to run it to um, um, thread guy. Um, voila. First try. Lucky me. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we're not, uh, so this is on a very see how quiet this is? Very, 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 very quiet. You see that? And we're sewing. Okay, I'm gonna do reverse. 
And now, uh, see how needle stays up, close up. When I just pick my foot, take my foot off, stays up. Now, you come back here, please. If I get rid of this and put this one in, which it shows the arrow down, when I sew, stays down. The, the reason it's staying down is when you sew, you might want to just go ahead and go this way, let's say, and you don't want to lose the spot that the needle was. So, see, it stays down. Now, uh, zigzag. I'm going to bring that up. By the way, you could use the wheel right here very easy if you want. Um, now, one more thing that I want to show you is that when you do the needle to the left and you're doing zigzag, and you know, and you could make, you could also do that to the left just to have a design, different design. Uh, just for design. People ask why you have left and why you have right. It's just for design. Now, one more thing. And I'm gonna, knee lifter right here, by the way. I don't know if I told you there's a knee lifter right here. This will work great on the, uh, on the bathing suit or laundry if you wanna make it, if you guys are into that. See, I'm gonna do, see how tiny this is. And this is the, Needle positioning up, bobbin winder right here again, if you need to do the bobbin. No, this one is not like the other one, this one has a oil, um, uh, oil pan, you put oil in here. Uh, the other one, the 20U83, does not have a oil pan. Uh, it's mechanical, you just put oil on it all over. This one has the oil pan, knee lifter, if you see there is two of them right here, this is for dropping the feed dog. You could drop the feed dog on this machine and do free motion embroidery. Um, you got uh, the owner's manual for the, um, for the direct drive right here. Uh, you got some screws, some bobbin, bobbin case right here. A great machine overall and the price is really great. And it actually is very quiet. People that like what, see? And this is working without oil. So, uh, great, 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 great sewing machine. Uh, I want you to go ahead and like our video, thumbs up, um, follow us on YouTube and Facebook, and share the video if you can, and let me know what you want us to do next. Thank you for watching. New Take 20U83 Direct Drive. Thank you. Site goldstartool.com.